my morning doing YouTube and kind of just editing and doing some college stuff as well. And I was supposed to intern this morning, but I couldn't find a babysitter for Lincoln, so that's fine. It, they only worked three hours today anyway, so it was, I didn't miss out on time, but it sucks because I was having fun interning there. Um, I don't go back now until like the middle of March to intern there. So anyways, I got a call from my mom this morning saying my dad, who is up at my cabin, locked himself out of his car so he can't get home. I am driving up the spare set of keys right now, and I brought Isabel with me. Izzy, are we going to the ranch? She loves riding in the car. And of course I brought Lincoln, so I thought I would go up there and let Bella run for a second, even in the snow. This morning, my mom called and was like, your dad locked himself out of his car, and right now he's at my cabin. So he couldn't get home, so I had to drive up and give my mom the keys so she could then drive up and give him the keys. And I brought up Bella so she could take her up there and maybe she could run around a little bit. Cause she has been pretty lonely here sitting around. She's just been kind of lazy. It is winter, so she's not used to running during the winter, but it is nice for her to get out still. Um, but I just put Link down when my mom called me and I was like, crap, like I can't wait two hours until she wakes up but I also don't want to wake her up. So I took the chance and put her in my car and strapped her in and she actually stayed asleep the whole ride there and back. And at that point she'd only been asleep for like an hour. So I was like, okay, I'm gonna try and put her in her crib. I'm not gonna wake her up. And I just put her in her crib and she fell asleep. And I'm so proud of myself right now. It's the first time I've ever been able to transfer her like twice or like once, let alone twice and have her stay asleep. So pretty proud right now. I'm pretty sure I stole this from a kid because it was just left in front of our house, but I got the soccer ball. And if you know anything about Bella, you know she is overly obsessed with balls of any kind. But Lynx has been sitting here watching her. <gasps> what is your puppy doing? Hey, what's going on guys? Um, it's pretty late. It's about 9, 10 at night. Um, I slept for a little bit and just kind of woke back up. I do that kind of a lot throughout the night. And I was looking through some of the YouTube comments. Some of the stuff that some people are saying are pretty rude. Um, I know... There was one person in particular that's posted on a couple of videos and they've all, all the comments have been rude and really mean towards Taylor, especially. And it makes me really, really mad. And I have been trying very hard to stay calm and not basically explode on this dude. Um, <laughs> Especially in the Marine Corps, that's something you learn to get really good at, is how to yell at people. Um, I've been trying really hard to stay calm. I keep flagging his comments, or her, whoever it is. I keep flagging the comments, I keep deleting them. It's just, it's really not cool. Like, obviously, if you don't like the videos, hit dislike, call it a day. If you don't like us, don't watch the videos. It's not hard. You don't have to be rude. You don't have to say rude things to people. If you don't like the way Taylor raises our child or the way I raise our child, I really don't care. I'm going to be completely honest with you. I do not care at all. Um, I'm, I'm trying to be nice about this, but I'm, I'm pretty heated right now. I, I know a lot of you guys have said things to that person telling them basically to go away, don't watch videos if you don't like them. And that's, 
And I, I really appreciate it. That helps me a lot. That helps Taylor a lot. That makes me feel a lot better. And it it makes me a lot happier because it shows me that you guys care. You guys care about us. You guys care about us as a family. And you want to watch us. And that, that makes me feel really good. That makes me feel really cool. Like, that doesn't make me feel cool. But it it makes me feel good. And it's a really cool feeling that there's people like you guys out there that care so much about us even though we're just a random couple trying to figure out how to be parents on YouTube you know what I mean I don't know it's just it's really frustrating if you guys don't like us don't watch us if you have constructive criticism like things we can do to help improve what we're doing as parents by all means, say it. Like, we're going to read your comments, and they're going to help us. They're going to make a difference. But if you're going to be rude, I really don't care. I don't care about your opinion. I can very easily just go delete it. Yeah, it, it bothers me, and it will bother me, especially when you're talking about my wife like that. She means so much to me. She is everything to me, and it makes me so mad when people talk bad about her. It's not fair to her. She's a new mom. This is her first kid. This is my first kid. What do you want us to do? Babies don't come with an instruction manual. We can't just pull up Gerber instructions on how to raise a baby. It doesn't work like that. Especially when people say in rude ways that, like, she started trying to feed her solid foods. What's wrong with that? If she feels Lincoln's ready for solid foods, who are you to tell her she's not? You don't know where Lincoln is at in her life. You don't know where Taylor is at in her life. You don't know if she went to a doctor and a doctor said it would be a good thing to try. Pretty sure the doctor would know more than you. It just, it really, really makes me mad. So, if you don't like our videos, don't watch them. If you don't like us, don't watch us. <laughs> you don't even care, you want it. Like oh my god, <laughs> mom. <Yeah>. No, he <laughs> loves it. <laughs> So Link was not eating her dinner, but she was acting kind of hungry, she didn't eat any of it. And I thought she might like an orange, so I cut a little piece and peeled off the rind and gave it to her. And these are actually oranges from Justin's great grandpa's, or Justin's grandpa, so Lincoln's great grandpa. He is an orange farmer. And they're a lot sweeter than normal oranges and they're really good, but she has one right now. <laughs> <laughs> No, <laughs> she's eating her hand instead of the orange. She's loving it. Oh my gosh, that's the way you put it. It's like orange no. juice, yeah. Yum. So Hi. Hey, it's a good orange. Hi, Izzy. Oh, you used to do cuddle bug. So, um, obviously some people have noticed that Huck's not really around. He is staying with a friend in California for about two more weeks. And it was something that happened kind of suddenly, so I forgot to mention it in the vlog. <coughs> and he's been gone for a little bit now. But we'll be getting him back soon, and then I'll be heading home. But today was a nice calm day. Nothing really exciting happened, just a day to just be. And I love those days lately, cause there are very few of them. But anyway, right now, I'm just hanging out with Isabel. Hi, Izzy. Oh, I'm just being cuddly. She's the sweetest dog. But I am going to finish up a little bit of work and then go to bed, so good night. Sorry. <laughs> Riding the dog. <laughs>